Derek from Indy Sykes Hi. So if you need something. Okay, come and see me. So he's trying to get me to shop. I'm not, I'm not supposed to be shopping. Oh. Hey guys, what's up? It's Monica, happy 2021, yay. This is my first vlog of the year. I am very excited. Um, I've decided that I'm going to try and keep the vlogs to maybe twice a month, um, as opposed to every week just because I want to make sure that I am creating videos that just really educate and speak to fashion. Even though I'm sharing a little bit of me in the vlogs and um, I guess that's pretty cool too because you guys like it. So I'm gonna definitely still do the vlogs. I'm just going to probably just keep it to twice a month as opposed to every week. But yes, let's ignore that. One of my bulbs fell down. Anywho. <laughs> So first vlog I um, got this beautiful bag it was a Bottega bag for Christmas and wasn't impressed with some of the detailing the scuffs and whatnot so I'm gonna take that in um, I don't know if I'm gonna buy another one um, right now but we're gonna go to the Bottega store so that should be fun um, yeah I also need to take something to Zara but I don't know if I'm gonna vlog in Zara because I just really want to get in and out I don't like being in stores that are really crowded, especially with everything going on, so. But yes, very excited. We're going to go to the Bottega store um, and see what I can find, see if I'm gonna hold off or see if I just, you know, will exchange it right off the bat. So yes, that'll be fun. But before we jump into that, I am going to show you guys my outfit of the day. Um, I think this vlog is going to come out before my weekly outfits and style tips um, series that I'm going to start putting out. But um, I don't think this look will be in there since I'm sharing it with you now. I might put it there just for the people who don't see the vlog, but anyway, <laughs> there goes the talking again. Yes, I'm going to share the outfit with you guys and yeah, and then we will hop in the car and go to Bottega. <laughs> Okay, so this is the look. I'm wearing this cable knit chunky sweater, which I think I featured it in my um, Winter Essentials. Um, this particular sweater, it's from White House Black Market. I love it, it's comfortable, it's fun, it looks great. I, I guess the style tip on this was, it is a really full turtleneck, but to make it more comfortable and to avoid fussing, because I fuss with everything, I kind of just, took the sweater and um, the, the neck and tucked it in all around and now it just sits perfectly and it frames my face really good that's definitely going to be one of the style tips that I share all the time just because I do it and I just think it's really beautiful but yes in addition to that what are we doing we're wearing a I'm wearing a white tank top under this because I am allergic to wool so if you find yourself allergic to wool and if you have points on your body that get really itchy and uncomfortable wear a white t-shirt or well it doesn't have to be white just wear something that's comfortable and maybe in a cotton that way you the wool is not directly touching your skin and also because I'm wearing leggings which I usually don't wear often these leggings are were gifted to me from Spang so was the sweater basically but I tucked the, t the top in so I didn't have any um, bulging so just a slight tuck in and then let this part lay flat, billow it up on top. That's where the extra fabric from the t-shirt is so it doesn't show and everything lays nice and flat. I wanted to do somewhat of a monochromatic look even though this is not a perfect, you know, red on red, but it's still in that red family. Then we broke it up with these boots, which I absolutely adore. These are Parenza Schooler. Um, I just wanted a wicked pair of um, riding boots and these pair, this pair, I just adore them also in my video and then we're rocking the Chanel 19 bag you guys saw this bag last year I love it got my little hand sanitizer with the red matching anywho this is the look great outfit of the day it's comfortable what I was really going for was comfort more than anything it's cold outside I'm gonna wear a coat as well so I'm gonna show you the coat I will be wearing as well but this is the full look I feel like I need to step back more for some reason but yeah this is the full look and um, this is what we're doing. Oh yeah, I also did something a little different with my hair. I just have it in the top bun, which you'll probably see a lot of that, especially when I don't feel like really fussing, I just put in a top bun. So yeah. 
Okay, so this is the final look. This coat is also from, jacket is also from White House Black Market. I love it. It's got the velvet details. Um, one thing I do, especially now that, you know, the pandemic is out there, whatever, I tend to wear my bags on the inside and not on the outside of the coat because I also get hot. So in case I get really hot, I want to be able to take the layers off. So that's just something that I do. And the bag literally becomes part of my outfit as opposed to just an accessory um, and I also feel like the bag does a great job with the black and white pulling in the white stitch detail on the shoe so but yes this is the overall look I don't know what I'm gonna do for glasses it's not that sunny but um, I might just do my Dior um, I don't even know what they're called but I've got a black pair of Dior's and just gonna keep it simple yeah but this is the look casual cool very chic very comfortable and of course always stylish Yay. <laughs> Okay, so I just realized I didn't show you guys the bag and why I wanted to return it, just in case you want to get it. And at first I was like, am I being too extra? So I've wanted this, um, the padded cassette bag for a minute. Um, and it's a really beautiful bag, beautiful yellow, but just with the stitches there, like the pulling, and I just felt like it should be smoother. Some parts were smoother than, I don't know if that's obvious. And I usually don't, I usually don't overanalyze bags at all, like at all. So I don't know whether if it's just me not loving this bag and that's what it is. But I just, I found so many little, just little nicks that I honestly, for the most part, anyone who knows me knows I do not analyze bags. Um, I'm okay with that, but I felt like it's coming from their warehouse or their store, whatever. It should be perfect. So I don't know. That's just me. You guys let me know if I'm being extra, if all of this little pulling and the leather not laying flat, would that bother you? Would you keep it? It's a really beautiful bag. I love the color. It doesn't, the, the lighting, my lighting does not do justice to this color. I don't know if it's better in the, yeah, my camera's not really, you know, doing justice to the color. I love it. I still want a yellow bag, so I don't know. If I go to the store, if they show me one that's better, then um, I will definitely keep it. And I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'm just being extra, if this is how the padded cassette bag is supposed to be. Um, I just see so many patches that are nice and smooth that to see so many that are not just is discouraging to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm being extra. <laughs> you guys let me know am I being extra so I'm gonna take it to the store um I do know someone who works there so you know I feel like they'll be honest with me if this is just what to expect from the bag and that way I can make a decision if I want to keep it or not all right so let's go so I ended up wearing these glasses and this mask which is pretty cool talk about it in my winter essentials so yeah let's get it done when I come to the mall I'm so tempted to walk around and just look but I'm like number one I have to work and number two there's COVID <laughs> but yes it's nice and quiet this is when I like to shop when there's no one here there you go. So say hi. Hi. Of course, I had to stop at Fendi. Yes, this is Derek from Fendi Sykes. Yes. So if you need something. Okay, come and see me. So he's trying to get me to shop. I'm not I'm not supposed to be shopping. Of course I'm supposed to be taking care of this Bottega purchase. But let's see. What are we looking at, Derek? Ooh, you guys should see this. Ooh, she's pretty. Like, this this is a nice yellow. Lemon. It's called Lemon? Lemon. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> No, so You're trying to get me up to no good. I'm supposed to be returning wait, something. But isn't this super cute though? It is nice with this. So we're gonna wrap it. How much is this? So the bag is gonna be. Let me check because we did have a price increase. Okay. Hi, honey. Look who's here. My favorite person. Hey, Layla. Happy New Year, honey. Mwah, mwah. Eric says, I like your jacket. Oh, that's okay, girl. All right, I like that. So the bag Holiday was good. Thirty nine eighty. Thirty nine eighty. I know. I'm, I'm not buying. He's just showing me. So this would nope. probably go on my list. Totally just left Bottega and totally forgot to film anything. But I'm just gonna send it back, and I might just get that Fendi. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna return the Bottega, um, and I decided to do the Fendi. I went to Bottega, and they said, "What did they say? That is just the leather." So. <laughs> We're gonna do the Fendi, yay! Perfect yellow bag. Great so this for, is what we call spring. wrapping the handle with our wrappy. All right. This particular wrappy is called the Fendi Fun. Mm. Yeah. 
I like. Right. Maybe I'll get you the defender get later stitching. on. That's I detail. know. Well, that's the thing with the Celeria yes. and you know just the detail and everything. Mm -hmm. The bag is just gorgeous. I've always wanted one, but I figured they were too heavy. But this one is nice and small, so. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. I love the fact the smaller peekaboos are so stylish and versatile. Exactly. Yay! Does it have separate compartments? Oh, it does. Just it like does. the. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Good, good, good. And I find that these bags are just so functional. Like you can put so much in them, even though it's small. Because with the other peekaboo, like literally when I say it's my go-to, like I'm shocked that I use it that much. The black one? Yeah, I actually use it a I'm lot. I'm super happy to hear that you yeah. use it. Even and though of I, course, then you can bring the black one and let me wrap this one on there. Oh, cool. But Layla, could you pull that out and let them see the black version of this one? Because then you might be able to do that. Oh, wait, there's a black version of the scarf mm -hmm. too? Ooh. <laughs> well, I ain't doing it today. So if y'all want to send me a Christmas gift or something. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Know we love you over here. Yay. The black version of this one? Oh, it's pretty too. How tempting. Oh, wow. Okay, yes. I hope you guys enjoy this video because I ain't shopping for a minute. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Yay. Do you like the long on one type? I do, I do. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. I feel like it's just, you know, thrown on and it's good to I go. I think I like to do the, I, sometimes I like to do too short. But I just like to. No, I like it. I like it. I think it looks really cool. Yeah, no, I think that's perfect. Yes, we like it. Oh my God, I really love it. Like, it's actually beautiful. And I wouldn't think it would look good with this color, but I think it's because of the scarf. Yeah. I love the smaller size peekaboos. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's the wrapping. That's super fun. See, yeah, I think we're going to get her to take it home today. <laughs> I am obsessed with these. Hmm. So many cute ones. I think I'm going to add these. I think I need these. That's what um Carmen was wearing. Oh, okay. Yeah, but because my feet are so big, they won't look good. Yeah. Okay, so I just got back home, and that outing did not go as planned. Um, I ended up, in, well, I'm going to return the Bottega. Ended up forgetting to film in Bottega, but there are a pair of shoes, and I think I need to get these. And we saw them at Saks, um, but yeah. I think I'm gonna get them, but yes, I'm very happy with the bag I ended up going with. Um, yeah, definitely didn't plan on doing another Fendi bag. And technically, I didn't break my rule of not buying the same bag but in different colors because technically, this is a different silhouette in the Peekaboo and it's also in the Celeria leather, which I absolutely adore. I'm excited about it. I'm not going to do a unboxing or review just yet because I really feel like. I need to use it and so I can give you a full you know breakdown and everything let me know if you want me to unbox it with you guys and just kind of do a one over I think we did a little bit in store but if you want me to do that I can try and put together a quick video or put that in my next vlog so yeah let me know but yes it was fun um, good start to the year I'm trying to see if I can actually buy a little less this year we'll see if that happens Anywho, that's my phone that's my sign to get off and get to work and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.